Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please support us with your likes and by subscriptions to our channel. This helps us stay relevant and keeps us producing videos. Why your gears are slipping when you accelerate? Gearing up for a smooth drive and suddenly feeling your car hesitate? That unsettling moment when your gears slip during acceleration isn't just annoying, it can be dangerous. This issue can impact your car's performance, fuel efficiency, and safety. Ignoring it isn't an option, it demands immediate attention. In this video, we'll explore common causes of gear slipping and how to fix them. Get ready to regain control of your drive. Common causes of gears slipping when accelerating. Feeling your gears slip while accelerating can be frustrating and a bit alarming. It's not just a minor problem, it can affect your car's overall performance and safety. Understanding the common causes can help you troubleshoot and address this issue promptly. Worn out clutch plates. Clutch plates play a key role in how your car shifts gears. They connect and disconnect the engine from the transmission. Over time, these plates can wear out due to friction and heat. When this happens, they don't grip as well, causing the gears to slip. Why do clutch plates wear out? Normal wear and tear. Just like your tires, clutch plates wear out with regular use. Driving habits. Frequent stop and go driving can accelerate wear. Poor maintenance. Not keeping up with regular service can shorten the lifespan of clutch plates. If your clutch plates are worn out, you'll likely notice a delayed response when you press the gas pedal. The car might rev higher than usual without a corresponding increase in speed. Transmission fluid issues. Transmission fluid is vital for keeping your transmission parts lubricated and cool. When this fluid gets low or becomes dirty, it can cause the gears to slip. Here's why transmission fluid matters. Lubrication. It keeps the gears moving smoothly. Cooling. It helps prevent overheating. Hydraulic pressure. It aids in engaging the gears properly. What can go wrong with transmission fluid? Low levels. If the fluid is low, the transmission can't build enough pressure to engage the gears. Dirty fluid. Contaminants in the fluid can cause it to lose its effectiveness. Regularly checking and replacing your transmission fluid can prevent these issues. Aim to check your fluid levels every month and follow your car's maintenance schedule for fluid replacements. Damaged gears and synchronizers. Inside your transmission system, gears and synchronizers work together to engage and switch gears smoothly. When these components get damaged, they can cause the gears to slip. How do gears and synchronizers work? Gears. These are the metal parts that mesh together to change your car's speed and direction. Synchronizers. These help the gears engage smoothly and without grinding. Why do these parts get damaged? Wear and tear. Over time, metal can wear down. Poor lubrication. Lack of adequate lubrication can lead to overheating and damage. Hard shifting. Aggressive shifting can cause immediate damage to these parts. If damaged, you'll notice grinding noises or difficulty shifting. Addressing this requires a professional inspection and usually a gear or synchronizer replacement. Faulty shift solenoids. Shift solenoids are small yet crucial parts of your automatic transmission system. They control the flow of transmission fluid and help regulate gear shifts. When these solenoids go bad, they can cause the gears to slip. What exactly do shift solenoids do? Control fluid flow. They manage how much transmission fluid gets to various parts. Help in shifting. They signal when to shift gears. Signs of faulty shift solenoids. Delayed shifting. Either delayed or failure to shift into the proper gear. Gear slipping. The car may randomly slip out of a gear. If you suspect a faulty shift solenoid, it's essential to get it checked out. Replacing a shift solenoid is usually less costly than major transmission repairs, but it requires professional attention. Diagnosing gear slipping issues. When your gears slip, it can be a worrying experience that signals deeper problems with your car's transmission. Diagnosing the issue properly is crucial to fixing it. Let's break down the steps you can take to identify what's causing your gears to slip. Listening for unusual noises. First, trust your ears. Unusual noises can be the first clue that something is wrong with your transmission. Grinding or squealing. If you hear grinding or squealing noises when you shift gears, it could mean that the gears aren't meshing properly. Clunking sounds. A clunking sound might indicate that the gears are slipping or that there's an issue with the transmission fluid. These noises aren't just annoying, 
they can signal serious problems. Pay attention and try to describe the sounds accurately when you talk to a mechanic. Checking transmission fluid levels. Transmission fluid is like the lifeblood of your car's transmission system. Keeping it at the right level is crucial for smooth operation. 1. Warm up your car. Start your car and let it run for a few minutes. This helps you get an accurate reading. 2. Locate the dipstick. Check your car's manual to find the transmission fluid dipstick. 3. Check the fluid. Remove the dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it, and then pull it out again. The fluid should reach the full mark. 4. Look for contamination. The fluid should be a clear red color. If it's dark or has particles, it's time to change it. Low or dirty fluid can cause the gears to slip, making it crucial to check it regularly. Conducting a road test. A road test can help you feel and observe how your car shifts gears under different conditions. Follow these steps for an effective test. 1. Start with normal driving. Accelerate gradually and pay attention to how the gears shift. 2. Add stress. Next, try a rapid acceleration to see if the gears slip under stress. 3. Test in different gears. Shift manually if your car allows it, and listen as the car changes gears. During this test, take note of any delays, jerks, or noises. This information is invaluable for diagnosing the problem. Using diagnostic tools. Diagnostic tools can make a world of difference when pinpointing the exact cause of gear slipping. These tools can read error codes stored in your car's computer. OBD2 Scanner This tool plugs into your car's OBD2 port and reads error codes related to your transmission and other systems. Transmission Scanners These can give more detailed information specifically about your transmission. Using these tools, you can gain insights into issues that might not be immediately obvious, such as sensor failures or electronic issues. Many auto parts stores offer free diagnostic scanning if you don't own these tools. Understanding these steps and using them effectively will help you diagnose the issue causing your gears to slip. Taking action early can save you from more costly and extensive repairs down the road. Stay tuned for part 2 where we'll discuss solutions to fix slipping gears. Drive safe and take care. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.